Hello students, welcome back to Machines 2 lab and we will see one more experiment in electrical machines 2 lab and the two on synchronous machines. So we know that uh, synchronous machines are classified as two types. One is uh, syn synchronous generator that is alternator and the other one is synchronous motor. So here we are going to perform a test on a synchronous or generator first and then we are going to synchronize it with that of existing bus. So existing bus means we have a three phase supply here. So where its magnitude and frequency are always constant, we all know that because uh, this has come from directly with uh, three phase supply. Therefore, its magnitude and frequency will always be constant. So we are going to synchronize one alternator with that of the existing bus. This is one uh, important objective of this experiment. Another objective is so we are going to uh, explain or we are going to show that how the synchronization is done with the help of different methods. We know there are different methods for synchronization of an alternator like lamp dark method, synchroscope method, uh, one bright and two uh, lamps dark method like that. But in this particular experiment we will show you or we will demonstrate you the lamp dark method and synchroscope method. So where you can see here this is. Uh, the synchronizing panel. We call this particular uh, uh, panel as what? Synchronizing panel in which we are going to take lamps as shown here and uh, corresponding to this you are going to have uh, volt voltage measurement from uh, alternator side and uh, voltage measurement from supply side that is bus bar side and frequency of incoming mesh. We will take here the machine which we are going to gen uh, alt synchronize with that of the bus we call it as incoming machine. So incoming machine voltage reading and frequency measurement is done here with the help of this uh, frequency meter and uh, the supply side that is bus, bus bar side voltage and frequency you can observe these two will always be constant. So we are going to demonstrate how synchronization is done with the help of even the lamps dark method. So and uh, this one is the synchroscope even with this particular synchroscope also we will explain how we are going to synchronize. So simultaneously you can observe synchroscope method and lamp dark method for synchronization. So these are the switches, this is the synchronizing switch, the center one. So this is the switch corresponding to uh, incoming machine side and this is the switch corresponding to existing bus or uh, the three phase supply. So this particular switch when we turn it on voltage uh, will be applied here and when we turn on this the voltage terminals or voltage is connected to uh, this particular lamp. When we turn on these two then we can observe supply will be given to these lamps. So we will see how that uh, synchronization will be done experimentally. So before that, so once if synchronization is done, once if synchronization is done we will also perform a test on the same synchronous machine which is converted into or which will be operated as a motor later on once if synchronization is done the same alternator now is converted as a motor and on that particular experiment that is on the synchronous, synchronous motor we will perform the test for different load conditions in such a way that when we vary the excitation so this is the excitation uh, field reactor when we vary the excitation for the given input to the synchronous motor how the armature current varies and also how the power factor varies. So these things we are going to show it experimentally. So the, those curves which we call them as uh, generally V and inverter V curves can be obtained from this experiment. So uh, main objectives of this particular experiment is what? First we are going to see how an alternator is synchronized with that of existing bus or three phase supply or with another uh, alternator assuming and how we are going to uh, demonstrate the method of synchronization by lambda and synchronous uh, synchroscope method and the third part of that is what obtaining V and inverter V curves experimentally okay so that's about introduction to this particular experiment and let us see before going to that let us see the circuit diagram actually I request all the students to draw four point starter for each and every experiment so I'll show you this is the first the four point starter already you might have studied in machines one and also in another exper other experiments also about this four point starter where it has uh, four terminals L, LL, F and A. So this four point starter is to be drawn 
in this diagram so lack of space we have shown only a box but each and every student has to draw a four point starter also in the observation so if you observe the there are three different circuits one is prime mover circuit excitation circuit and alternator circuit so since when we operate any alternator so definitely we need to have a prime mover in this particular experiment we are going to take dc shunt motor as a prime mover so this is what dc motor connections and same as we have done in the previous case but i will uh, just review it once again from plus terminals you are going to connect it to l ll is connected to negative and uh, field terminal f from the four point starter is connected to one fixed terminal of rheostat and variable terminal of that rheostat is connected to z and zz is connected to negative similarly armature terminal of four point starter is connected to armature terminal of dc motor and at the same time that is from the same point itself it is connected to a meter dc ammeter and aa is connected to negative so initially this is operated as a motor and later on this machine will con will be converted to a motor or will be generating power that means uh, it will be converted to generator hence we are going to take a resistive load here and a voltmeter and ammeter are fixed here with the polarities as shown so that's about what prime mover circuit connections coming to excitation circuit for the alternator x x x is the field winding of alternator for this you need to give excitation that is dc excitation so plus is connected to one fixed terminal of rheostat minus is connected to another fixed terminal of the rheostat the variable terminal as shown here this variable terminal is connected to a meter positive terminal and the negative terminal is connected to x x x x is connected to negative next coming to alternator connections these are very important this r y b you can observe three windings which are connected in star so they are uh, the three windings in the alternator and uh, this dotted line will show you coupling between the two machines that is the dc motor and alternator so prime mover is coupled with that of alternator so you will be getting rotating action for this alternator with the help of prime mover that is dc motor in this case so now from r terminal you can see one connection is given to the a meter common terminal and another connection is given to voltmeter common here no need of giving voltmeter externally because in the synchronizing panel itself as i have shown earlier voltmeter is already given so no need of giving this voltmeter connection so from a meter other end uh, it is connected to m and l is connected to lamps so we can see here this is the synchronizing switch actually so we call it as synchronizing switch for this synchronizing switch you are going to have input side and uh, the other end two sides of this switch so to the left of this synchronizing switch you are going to have one panel uh, three connections as shown here where you can see uh, they are named as l1 l2 l3 so from uh, l of first watt meter connected to l1 and uh, cv of course potential coil connected across the lines between l1 and l2 so v is connected to another v of watt meter and from there it is connected to y as well as connected to l2 terminal similarly from the b phase you can observe it is connected to m and l is connected to l3 again in this case cv is connected to uh, connected across the lines b and y this is b and this is y this one is r potential coil always must be connected across the supply and current coil must be connected in series with the lamps you have to remember this one now for this lamps other side you can observe three phase supply is given where a voltmeter is connected here so this voltmeter is shown in the panel in the synchronizing panel itself so this is about the connections or circuit diagram explanation and before going to note down the ratings of this ammeters voltmeters and wattmeters we'll see the panel uh, name plate details name plate details are both the machines here we are going to have two more machines one is shunt motor which is acting as a prime mover and alternator which we call it as incoming machine initially so shunt motor ratings same as uh, shown here 5 hp 90 amps 220 volts and rpm is 1500 no need of r and rh in this particular experiment coming to alternator 
the kva rating of alternate is 3 kva amps rating 4.2 and volts 415 rpm 1500 means the synchronous alternator should be run at 1500 initially and apart from this one more uh, parameter is missing that is excitation so you can observe the excitation is shown here see this is the rated speed as shown uh, in that details and excitation voltage you can observe it is 220 volts that means dc voltage we need to provide and you can observe the ampere rating that is excitation field current rating is 1.4 amperes so the field current should not cross this one so this we need to be very careful and of course frequency is given here that is 50 hertz of course it's a three phase machine so kilowatt rating is 3 and the volts rating 415 and ampere rating 420 okay so once if you know the nameplate details, then we will come for rating of different meters as shown here. Here DC motor side, since we are loading this DC machine definitely and its current rating is uh, maximum current rating is 19 amperes. Therefore, the range of this ammeter should be 0 to 20 amperes and type of meter should be of course since it is DC we need to go for moving coil. Here also the range of voltmeter is uh, 0 to 300 and MC because 220 volts maximum we are going to get it. Now coming to the field excitation circuit, just now I have shown maximum field excitation that can be given is what? 1.4 hence its rating should be 0 to 2 amps. Again type of meter is MC because excitation is DC. Coming to AC side, these two voltmeters are not required, already they are connected in the synchronizing panel. Therefore now the range of this meter should be 0 to 5 amperes. Why? Because the machine rating just now we have seen it is 4.2 amperes and hence its range should be 0 to 5 and type of meter is MI. And coming to watt meter ratings and uh, we are going to take uh, two watt meters here. Already I have shown in the earlier experiments where uh, we can measure the power using three phase watt meter also. So now we will go for using two single phase watt meters. So this watt meter rating should be 5 amperes and of course voltage rating 300 volts. And since we are loading this alternator indirectly, that means load on the DC motor acting as an indirect load for the alternator. So it is operated under load conditions. Hence, you need to go for type of meter is UPF watt meter. Similarly, this watt meter also 500 amp, 5 amps, 300 volts, sorry, 400 volts, 600, sorry, not 400, 600 volts, 5 amps, 600 volts, UPF watt meter. So that is how you have to decide. If you want to go for range, of course, if you are fixing a voltmeter, no need. You can go for again 600 volts MI and here also 600 volts, 0 to 600 volts MI. And of course, fuse rating should be 5 amperes here also, 5 amperes. I hope you understand, here fuse rating should be not more than 2 amperes. Here also not more than 20 amperes. So that is how to decide the nameplate uh, that is the ratings of voltmeters, ammeters and wattmeters. Uh, okay students, uh, just now we have seen introduction to this particular experiment and then uh, circuit diagram connections, all we have seen. Now I will show you how to give the connections. First let us start from DC motor side, prime mover side. You can see here from plus terminal it should be connected to N as shown in the diagram. as shown in the diagram from closet to terminal connected to L it is shown here and from A of 4 point starter it is connected to A of DC motor and from the same terminal it is connected to ammeter positive as shown here positive terminal and other end of this ammeter is connected to load so that is 20 amperes in general. Now, and across this load, voltmeter is to be connected as shown here. So you can see here, across this load, voltmeter positive terminal and voltmeter 300 terminal is connected to negative. So the negative of the load is connected here. So which shows that this voltmeter is connected across the load. This is uh, our load side connections and from F, 
please observe this is the field rheostat of the motor so from f it is connected to starting terminal and the variable point is connected to z as shown in the diagram the variable point is connected to z and f is connected to fixed terminal now z z you can observe z z a a and l l all are connected to negative terminal so this finishes dc motor side connection now coming to excitation of circuit plus terminal from dc excitation plus terminal it is connected to one fixed terminal of the rheostat as shown here and another fixed terminal is connected to negative you can see here another fixed terminal and variable terminal is connected as shown here and it is connected to ammeter positive and ammeter other end is connected to x that is field winding x terminal and xx is connected to negative terminal and is observe please observe this should be in maximum position so where the current enter enters from positive terminal here entire field resistance is included and then the current is passing through this variable terminal if you put this knob here so total resistance is included that means maximum position of the field resistance of alternator if you go for this knob variable knob at this end the current enters here and reaches this particular point directly no resistance is included so this we call it as minimum position therefore this field resistance should be at its maximum position that's about field excitation circuit connections now coming to alternator side you please observe from r please observe the uh, one terminal from alternator connected to uh, ammeter common oh, sorry just a minute 